Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio. Today's video is going to be about my Singer 1591. I have a previous video up about this from a couple years ago, but I had a viewer request some specific things about the machine uh, if I would cover those for him. He's bought a 1591 and the hardware that goes with it for mounting and uh, the foot pedal, but needed to know how it all goes together, needed some visuals. So I'm going to try and show you how this machine is set up and um, hopefully this will help. If you've got the machine head but you don't have a cabinet and then you buy a cabinet I and mean, you got to figure out how it all goes together. So hopefully this will help. So this video may be a little bit shaky because I'm going to have to hold the camera at odd angles to get to everything, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, the first thing is the machine uh, slides into these pins here that have this round um, disc here where it screws into the cabinet. Now a lot of times you will find the machines where they have just unscrewed them from the base and it will come with this hardware with it. Now to remove your machine from the cabinet you don't need to do that. All you need to do is to tip your machine back and then pull it off of these pegs here. So let me see if I can do this one-handed. These machines are really heavy but here we go and let's see if I can get under here. I have to take my glasses off so I can see. Okay there's the peg right there right here and I can't lift the machine with one hand but it will slide off of these two pegs. There's one there and there's one back here and that's how you take a machine on and off the cabinet. Now the wire for the foot pedal is here. It's this black, this big black pedal, <laughs> this big black wire and it is wired into the machine and that goes to the foot pedal or the knee pedal which it's all one thing I'll show you that in a minute and then there's your power source here is your plug and it's a three pronged plug and let me see if I can get that off and show you there's the plug there so that's what you're looking for and then here is the actual plug that goes into machine the machine so that's your electricity source um, and there is a video online that shows you how to kind of take your machine apart so that you can service the motor, you know, clean it up and um, re-grease re it. And this is a potted motor which is on the back and uh, I forgot to show you that earlier but I'll try and remember to do that at the end. Um, here is the skirt. This is made out of a piece of plywood, I believe, or thin birch wood or something. And that helps collect dust and um, you know anything you might drop around your machine will, will hit here. And uh, mine usually just collects lint from sewing. So every once in a while I'll find a straight pin in there. Um, okay, this part here, this lifts up and you can get better access to your cabinet. Now here is the foot pedal and this is the bracket that it fits into. This is the pedal itself and there is a bracket back here that it goes to or that it goes in and I hope you can see that. You can see part of it here. and it fits in there. Now this is a um, cabinet that has the knee lever. But let me show you how this wire works. The wire from the foot pedal goes up. Mine's kind of dangling down on the floor. It can be. There is a hook here. And I don't know if you can see that either. There. There's the hook and you can use that to hang your wire from to kind of get up off the floor a little bit like that. 
but that wire comes up through this channel here there's a I think that's I think it's metal it's got a texture to it There it is. It goes up through there and then that comes through this hole in this piece here. And this piece is flexible. It comes down. Anyway, the wire comes up and then it connects into your machine. So this is your foot pedal wire. These three are your motor wires. There's a red, blue, and a yellow one on my machine. And those three go into the machine. Okay, let me adjust the camera and then I'll try and show you how the knee lever is mounted in there. I can do all of this kind of upside down. Okay, as I move this, the, I've got the knee lever pulled down and as you move it, it hits the button. You can barely see it. Let me see if I can adjust a little bit more. There's so much in the way here. Okay, it's pushing on the button on the foot pedal. Right there. So this is going to the front of the machine. Of the cabinet I mean it's the front of the cabinet there's where all the hardware is so here's the corner here's the corner of the cabinet here and the hard hardware is all on this side under the this is the hinge where the um, the skirt of the machine goes to right here that's holding the, sh the skirt of the machine in uh, the cabinet in and then the rest of this hardware here is the mounting for the knee lever and here's the knee lever here and you push it up when you don't want to use it and you pull it down when you do so you can remove your foot pedal and put it on the floor and use it if you want to now I have that same foot pedal on a different machine and when you push the knee lever it pushes on this button the one on the left or as it's mounted on your machine this direction it would be pushing on the bottom button right here this here does not move this is I think you would kind of rest your foot on that side of your foot and then as you sew you push you have to ro roll your foot to the side to push on that. That's how that would work. Okay, I promised I'd show you the motor. Here's the motor to the machine. It's, it's a potted motor because it supposedly looks like a pot. Um, and that's um, mounted on the back of the machine by the um, wheel here, by the hand wheel. And you can um, you know, open it up by loosening the screw and then this just pulls off and um, actually there's a couple of screws there's one over here too and um, anyway have to check your machine and see if it's got the a potted motor and then you can open it up and you can see all the workings in there and uh, clean it up remove the old grease and put new grease in if you need to and um, it's, it's pretty interesting how it works and I haven't used my machine in about six months so it really needs to be checked out um, before I use it again and make sure it's all oiled I got to oil use you know do all the the oil points and that kind of thing before I use it but um, this is what the vintage machine that I use the most because it's it's all set up in its cabinet and um, um, I really like using it but when I need to do um, like precision piecing now I, I've been using my new singer so um, right now the new singer is a, a better fit for what I'm doing but um, I do every once in a while we'll 
go back to this machine and, and do some sewing on it if I'm, I'm not wanting worrying about being too precise. Now you can buy um, modern day feet to go on the machine and I do have a uh, quarter inch piecing foot that I had been using but um, something happened to the foot and um, I bent the, the flange on it and I'm not sure it's accurate accurate anymore so I'm going to have to work on that a little bit. But you can buy uh, short shank feet, modern feet, and they will work on these older machines at least on this 1591. You'd have to see what kind of uh, feet your machine requires. If you've got a different brand other than a Singer, I, I don't know what feet would go with that. But this is a 1952 Singer model 1591. Okay, my front of my machine has this little drawer that tips out and I'm going to pull this out so maybe we can see the hardware on the inside a little bit better. Yeah, that works. Let's see if I get my foot out of the way. Okay, here is the 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 knee lever right here. See that there and here's where it's all mounted. It's just to the front of the machine right behind this drawer. So um, this is kind of upside down but you can see it's mounted here and then as you pull the knee lever down to use it and you push on it with your knee it's going to hit that button on the foot pedal right there. You can see that working. So that's how that works. It mounts to the front of the cabinet and um, then that will work your foot pedal. If you don't have a knee lever of course you can always take your um, foot pedal off of the cabinet and put it on the floor and use it. So let me turn the cab the camera around and see if this helps any. Okay there's the right there's the mounting hardware for the knee lever. Here's the here's the lever itself and then here's the hardware as I'm, I'm reaching around the, from the front of the machine here and you can see that there. There, that might be a little bit better. I've got <laughs> things in my way, it's hard for me to see, but I'm hoping this will give you an idea of how that mounts. That mounts to the front of the cabinet and then the foot pedal mounts to the right side of the cabinet. And this little wooden piece here, I keep calling it the skirt, is actually an apron I believe is what they call it. But that will collect dust, it'll collect like pins if you drop them through there and it'll collect any oil that will drip because you do oil the underside of the machine at different places. So it will collect any oil if you over oil it and it drips it will collect that so it won't drop on your floor. So that's a good thing. So I hope this video helped you out if you ever need to um, put a cabinet together and you've got hardware that you've got to figure out. I hope this will help. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.